Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. We are watching CyberSec Live. So today we are going to talk about Emotet, which is one of the world's most dangerous malware. So let's see how it works, what are the mitigations, what are the impact of Emotet. So these are the contents we have. We are going to cover these things. The first one is what exactly Emotet. Second one is what made Emotet so dangerous, methods used by Emotet to attack bots and ransomware used in Emotet, how it spreads and how it's uh, working, what, what is the working of that Emotet and uh, uh, impact of Emotet on any organization and uh, on an, any individuals, right? And the last one we will talk about the how we can mitigate this thing. So what exactly Emotet? So it's been a, one of the most professional and long lasting cyber crime services out there. Uh, this is from the 2014. It was studied in the year 2014, especially for the banking Trojan. But now it is involving all other things as well. It is now one of the most dangerous uh, malware dropper uh, as well. The Emotet infrastructure essentially acted as a primary door opener or uh, you can say computer systems on a global scale once this unauthorized access was established these were sold to other top level criminal uh, criminal groups to deploy further illicit activities such as uh, data theft and extortion through ransomware so the next question is what made emotet so dangerous so let's have these answers so long living uh, it started as a banking trojan in the year 2014 and evolving over the time so it has been started in the year 2014 but now it's a very dangerous ma uh, malware you can say and second word is go to solution for cr uh, criminals it acted as a door opener as i uh, earlier said for other computers allowing unauthorized access to other malware families as well so it is not only uh, opening the door for itself, it is also opening the unauthorized access or opening the door for other malware families as well. Polymorphic. So polymorphic, it changed its code each time it was called up. So every time the code called, every time the uh, code is going to be changed. Last one is resilient, it's very uh, resilient. A unique way of infecting networks by spreading the threat after gaining access to just a few devices in the network. So how it comes actually, let's see. So what are the methods used by Emotet to attack? Especially uh, emails and word documents. So what will happen? You will get an email or something in which uh, there will be attachment of a word document or maybe a, any of the link. Right. So through a fully automated process, emoted malware was delivered to the victim's computer via infected email attachments, as I said. Next one is bots and ransomware used in emoted. So first one is TrickBot, QuickBot and Druk. These are the main malware families which is uh, in the emoted. So what is the function of TrickBot? It is actually it steals the user's private data. Right. It may come. Uh, it, it may also come uh, with the fake Adobe Flash Player updates as well. Quickbot. It it also uh, steal the banking credentials. It is also used for uh, banking credentials. It was discovered in the year 2007. And the last one is very important. The Rik. Rik is one of the highly risk ransomware type virus. You can say, and it encrypts most stored data. So. These are the three malware families which is which uh, Emotet are using. So the next one is how it spreads and it's working. As I said in the uh, previous uh, slide that it comes with an email and it will contain a link or a word document. So how it will contain see, the, see here. If there is a, some word document it will ask you to enable these content. So guys make sure that you whenever you uh, get any of the request and any of the file in your mailbox just keep remember one thing that before enabling this content just check that just analyze that mail before uh, entering into that 
how emotet is spread this is the very important one so you need to concentrate this thing because uh, i'm going to explain the whole scenario that how it uh, is spread so the first one let's say you got a fishing mill and victim let's we are we are uh, assuming there is a victim so victim got a fishing mill correct what will happen next in that there is a document attached of what document let's say as i saw, uh, show you earlier right now what will happen once the victim will click on the enable content there is macro a uh, macro will enabled and it will launch the powershell to execute now what is macro so macro is nothing but a set of commands set of pre commands you can say set of commands which was or you can say set of instruction which which was given by that uh, uh, in that file so it will uh, launch the powershell to execute and will it start downloading the emotet and its supported file what are the supported files maybe it's a trick bot or quick quick bot and the ransomware is ruik so these things will uh, automatically execute then after it will try to communicate its a c2c server so it was a c2c server now after c2c server it will directly it can also drop other malware and it will it, uh, it can also start the stealing the data so the next one is what are the impact of emotet and any organization or any individual so it can steal banking logins it can steal financial data it can steal bitcoin wallets credentials other malware can be dropped by emotet which can damage the whole system or network data the last one is it can also encrypt the data and can used rick ransomware so there might be a ransomware attack as well correct now at the last we will see some mitigations what are the mitigations so let's say uh, the attack not happen at that time right so it's a before the attack this, this is the mitigation before the attack so for that always check your emails carefully and watch out for attachments or embedded links from unknown sender messages with a sense of urgency asking you to download something check these things as well offers with a promise reward that sounds too good to be true so never click on these things before knowing them after the attack so let's suppose that attack now has happened the victim has already clicked that and the uh, emote had already has been downloading uh, downloaded in your network so the first thing is that you need to do isolate the system you have to isolate that system which is compromised and then you have to clear uh, check all the patches and clean the infected system and at last you you need to explore that emotet malware or any type of the, the malware and you should have block all these observables and iocs in your environment so that's that's what emotet exactly guys i hope uh, i'm able to understand make you understand uh, what is uh, emotet and how why it is so dangerous so if you like the video then please uh, subscribe the channel and hit the uh, like button bye bye take care